Good morning, students. So welcome into the next online video class, children. Have you prepared this last class portion, children? Say yes or no. Have you completed the diagram marks? So all are completed. Say yes or no, children. Yes, completed, isn't it? Yes, good, very good, children. So what are the previous class portion, children? What are the things we had completed in the previous class? Do you remember that? Yes, good. Tell me. Reproduction in bacteria, isn't it? So the reproduction in bacteria mainly two methods, isn't it? Asexual and sexual method. Asexual means what are the methods they comes to reproduction in bacteria asexually? Very good. So the formation of this endospore. Very good. The next one is binary fission. Clear? Yeah? So these are the two methods takes place in that asexual method of reproduction in bacterial cell. Sexual reproduction. Ah, very good. The three methods, but that is not formation and diffusion of the gametes, right? but only that is they takes place in a gene recombination. Gene is transferring, isn't it? The re gene recombination method, the DNA is not transferring from one cell to the next one. Clear now? So that is sexual method of reproduction in bacteria. So there we had completed three methods, isn't it? What are the three methods? Conjugation, very good. Transformation and transduction, isn't it? Okay. Next, I am asking this one of the question, children. What do you mean by transformation, children? What do you mean by transformation? Very good. Transferring of DNA from what bacterial cell to the next bacterium? Another one of the bacterium that's known as transformation. Very good. So, which person discovered conjugation? Which person discovered conjugation? Very good. Edelberg and Edward L. Tata. Clear? In the last class we had learned. So, all should know thoroughly this one. So, don't forget children and keep it in your mind. Okay? Yes, very good children. Next one. What does mean by transduction children? What does mean by transduction? Very good. The phase immediated the DNA transfer is known as Transduction. Clear ma? Yes, good. Next one. The transmission is they comes to two types. What are the two types? Good. Generalized transmission and the specialized transmission. Specialized transmission, another one names also we learned now. Do you remember that? Yes, a restricted transmission. Understood ma? Yes. Next I have asked this one of the question. The transformation, isn't it? The transformation sexual method of reproduction in bacteria. Which organism that's the experimental purpose? Freddy Griffith selected children. Which is the organism selected for the experimental work? Mice. It's very good. So that is a mice is that organism selected for that one. Okay. Which is the bacterial organism? Which is the bacterial species they are used? Very good. Diplococcus pneumoniae. Clear? Then how many strains they are produced? Very good. One is virulent nature of ester and another one is a virulent type of. Very good. All type of the cells. Is it clear children? Say some Say some Yes. Very good children. So, okay, today's class we are moving to learn the next topic. So, the economic importance of bacteria. This is the last topic of bacterial talk. Okay, so economic importance of bacteria. So, based on that, harmful and that is the beneficial activities. Okay, based on that, harmful and beneficial activities, the bacteria. There is, there is, I mean, so there is a useful and then also some of this, so there is a harmful activities that related, they are dividing in this is the economic.
economic models of this bacteria. First one has beneficial aspects and another one has a few of them harmful aspects. Harmful aspects means so they can cause in India some of the diseases of this particular host. The host means so there is animal, plant side or that is a human being side. Clear? Then some of the bacteria they are used to very good. So they can helping in that is some other way. Isn't it? So that is the thing as we are denoted as the beneficial aspects of bacteria itself. Clear? Let us learn that detailed study of these two. Beneficial aspects and harmful aspects. First we are going to learn about this is the beneficial aspects of bacteria. So this beneficial activities of this bacteria. So that is they come somewhere in a three types of that. One is so that is the soil fertility of this beneficial useful aspects of this bacteria. Next one, few bacteria are so they are producing in an antibiotic and some of them they are using in that is an industrial size. Clear? Let us learn that one by one. So these three beneficial aspects of they come somewhere in a five more question steps. Understood now? Sometimes they will ask this is the question now. Discuss the role of bacteria in soil fertility. Clear? Then sometimes they will ask, write down the antibiotics and their uses. Okay? Then explain this is the industrial uses of bacteria. So this is like they will ask that's a three, five mark question. Sometimes they will ask that's a one word and also that is a two or three mark question. Whether if you are preparing the system better way, five mark questions means you can attend all this type of the sciences. I mean one word, two mark and three mark pattern. Is it clear children? Yes. Next we are going to learn this is the soil fertility. What is the role of this bacteria? Clear? So this is the soil fertility. They comes to that is the three types children. One is ammonification and nitrification and nitrogen fixation. Can you able to say these three steps? Yes, very good. Ammonification, nitrification and nitrogen fixation. Okay. So here some of this enzymes involved to do this is the soil fertility. First one, the ammonification. Okay. The ammonification, so that process, so here involved that is a two enzymes. One is baseless ramosis and baseless mycoids. These enzymes are, I mean these bacteria also involved that is the process of this ammonification. First one, how this is the ammonification processes they going on in the is a soil region. How to fertilizing of this soil means. First one, so they present in a very complex matters of this uh, protein is present in a dead cells of this dead animals and that is a plant bodies. Okay. So then first one is that is converted into a ammonia. Then final steps that is converted into ammonium salt. That processes we are called as the name is known as ammonification. So this is the two that is a bacterial species or they involve in this process. Then second one nitrification. Nitrification process so they involve that is a two bacterial cells children. One is nitrobacter and another one is nitrosomonas. Clear? So these are the bacteria. The previous steps, so they converted that the bacteria saw ammonium salt, isn't it? That ammonium salt is, they changed, they converted into nitrates and nitrate. Clear children? Nitrates and nitrates. This is the formation, that process is called nitrification. That step is known as nitrification. Understood from? Then third one is nitrogen fixation. How to is the nitrogen is fixing of this plant side. Or that how to the fixing of this nitrogen. So here they involves that is the three bacteria. First one is Acetobacter, Clostridium and Rhizobium. These are the three bacterial species. They involves the fixing of this nitrogen. First one is what is the duty means. So they uh, presence of this many atmospheric nitrogen is there. That one is they converted into organic nitrogen. After that steps, this is the nitrogenous compound soil. They are oxidized to convert that is a nitrogen compound. Understood ma? But the nitrogenous compounds that is oxidized to nitrogen. So these are all the steps 
person. So that told us that very very important that's the beneficial aspects of this bacteria. They increases the soil fertility. Are it clear, children? Say yes or no? This is one of the very very important five mark question, children. So all should prepare thoroughly. What are the steps or comes under in a soil fertility? Ammonification, nitrification, and nitrogen fixation. Then, which of the bacterial species they are involved in these three steps? Then, what is the uses of this each steps? Okay, so all should prepare thoroughly. The next one, its beneficial aspects is the second one major areas is the antibiotic preparation. Some of the bacterial cells they help to they produce in a certain antibiotics. Okay, the main thing in your syllabus they are giving in these five antibiotics names, children. Right? First one, streptomycin, oreomycin, chloromycin, pestracin, and polyamycin. Okay, this each antibiotics they are obtained from that is the the one known bacterial species. Okay, so let us learn that is a bacterial species name. First one, that is a streptomycin. This is streptomycin that is an antibiotic that is obtained from that is a streptomyces glaciers. Okay, next one, oreomycin. That is, they are obtained from the bacterial species of streptomycin, oreophagus. Then chloromycin, streptomycin. So that penicillin. That's the bacterial species they obtain. That's the antibiotics of chloromycin. Basicracin. So get it from that is one of the basicus like Gerniformis. That's the bacterial species from that one only we are obtaining that's the medicine of that's the antibiotics name is Basicracin. Then Polymixin. So that is the bacterial species name is Bacillus Polymixa. Okay, that from that is the bacteria we are getting in an antibiotic Polymixin. Clear? So this all this the bacterial I mean so this is the antibiotics. So we will get that is a certain uses. Okay, we are using for that is a what is the uses for that one? First one the streptomycin. The streptomycin mostly we are using in that is the cures for that is the urinary infection, uh, tuberculosis, TB. The water days they are telling now that one and then uh, pneumonia fever. So these are the things we are mostly using. This is the antibiotics of streptomycin. Clear? Next one is oreomycin. Mainly we can use it in the eye infections. Okay? And also there is we are using for that is the whooping cough. Whooping cough means so there is a dry cough. That's the diseases we can use for this. Which is the antibiotic name? Oreomycin. Clear? Next one chloromycin. That is the mainly we can use in a typhoid fever. Okay, children. That is a typhoid fever. We can use for this the antibiotics of chloromycin. Next one, basitracin. So this basitracin, one of the diseases is syphilis. Syphilis means that is one of the sexually transmitted diseases. Children, that is the use for this the syphilis. That diseases we can use in it. that is the antibiotics of basitracin. Then polymixin. So the mainly we can use in it some bacterial related diseases. Some bacterial diseases are coming with. We can use this is the antibiotics of polymixin. Okay. So here also we should prepare this one. What are the antibiotics we are obtained from that is the particular bacterial species name. And then you have to be right. What is the uses of for that each antibiotics okay so in your textbook they are given this in a three columns so these three columns wise only they will ask this is a five mark question means you must write this is the three columns wise okay children please all of you by god this is the bacterial species names also understood next we are moving to this is the industrial uses of this bacteria clear the industrial uses have you any idea about this industrial uses for that bacteria? Tell me, children. Try to tell me. What is the industrial beneficial aspects of this bacteria? Very good. Some of the milk product conversions they are very much helping for this bacteria. Isn't it correct? Yes. First one is lactic acid, 
butter, cheese, curd, and pure butter. All the things are we are getting from the conversion of this milk sugar into then these are the product. Understood, ma'am? First one, lactic acid. Lactic acid means so there they present in that is the very good. So there is a milk sugar, isn't it? There is a milk sugar is they converted the lactose into lactic acid formation. That's one of the beneficial aspects of this bacteria. Then butter, cheese, curd, yogurt, everything is so they present in it. That's a conversion of this milk into they converted of this butter, cheese, curd, and yogurt. But these all the process different different bacterial species they involve the conversion of this milk product. Understood, children? This was to find. Then next one vinegar. So vinegar, do you heard this word vinegar? Yes, very good. So some uh, cooking purpose we can use, isn't it, vinegar? So this is the another one name is called acetic acid. Clear? This one. So first one, what is that the uses of this? What is the main role for this is that vinegar means? So first one, here they, we will get it in a ethyl alcohol. The ethyl alcohol is they obtain from the malicious. Malicious means karamuchakai. You heard that one? Yes. From that, fermentation process only we are obtaining this is the vinegar or acetic acid. Understood, ma'am? So here involving that is one of this enzyme name is known as acetobacter acidi. Acetobacter acidi. Okay, so this is the bacteria species only. They involve this is the, the preparation of this vinegar or we are getting it that is the acetic acid. Clear? Next one, some of this alcohol and acetone formation. Acetyl alcohols means methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, so butyl alcohol. So these are the alcohols. Okay. That preparation involving this bacterial species name is known as Clostridium acetobutylicum. Okay. Clostridium acetobutylicum. So due to this is the activities of this bacterial cell. So we are getting in some of this alcohols and acetone. So this also we are obtained from this. So that is prepared by this is the malicious. By the fact by fermentation of this anaerobic bacteria. Anaerobic bacteria means you know that meaning, isn't it? So there is without there is an oxidant in it, but there is a situation as only very good. So there is absorb all this oxygen. They that is the very good. The living of this anaerobic situation. Without the oxygen only, this bacterium can grow. Understood now? That is one of the industrial uses of alcohol and acetone. The next one, erecting of fibers. What's the meaning of erecting means a separation? Okay. Suppose this erecting of fibers means separation of this fiber. So here that's one of the bacterial species name is Clostridium teritium. Okay. Clostridium teritium. Clostridium teritium. So this is the bacterial species. They involve in it. Now. That's the fibers are separated from this is the fiber yielding plants. Due to this is the activities of this clostridia that can the separation of this fibers. But with that activities of clostridia acetobutylica. Okay. So that's the that bacterial species. They involve in this is the fiber yielding plants. That can the separation of the fibers we need to separating of the fiber. This is the activities only we can get it in a good fibers. Understood, children? Next one, vitamins. Some of the bacteria they can produce us in a good vitamins. So that is the best examples of the species is Essentia poly, that one is that's a human intestinal system as living, and then Clostridium acetobutylicum. Clear? So these some of the Two bacteria, mainly they are giving this is the two bacteria cell. So, this is the Escherichia coli in our human intestinal system only living children. That one is they produce us in a high amount of that is vitamin K and vitamin B complex. Okay, these two things are they produce us that is the vitamin producing. This is the one of this bacterial species of Clostridium that is a E. coli. Okay, so that is a Escherichia coli bacteria. Next one, second one of the type is Clostridium acetobutylicum, isn't it? This bacterial species, particularly they can produce in a vitamin B 
B2. Okay, that's the vitamin two, B2. How we are get it in this is the vitamin B2 means so that due to that is the fermentation of this sugar. So from that the things only we are obtaining in a vitamin B2 molecules or vitamin B2. Uh, that's a vitamin B2 complex. Clear, children? Say so no? Then finally, the last one is curing of tea and tobacco. Curing of tea and tobacco means so particular some of the bacterial species are involving to giving in a, some of the special flavor and aroma. I mean, so they're giving in a, the good taste and then sweet smell. So that processes we are called as the name is known as curing of tea and tobacco. Okay, so that's the species. So this process they involve that the species name is known as Micrococcus candidus and another one is Bacillus megatherium. Okay, so there is a Micrococcus candidus and another one more is Bacillus very good megatherium. So these are the two species they involve in this the industrial uses of this carrying of tea and tobacco. So that one is they giving in a good smell and then with a good flavor. So these all the things are given. That's a, one of the important beneficial activities of this. That the last tone of this carrying of tea and tobacco. Understood now? Say yes or no? So here we need to learn some of this bacterial name that is very very important for this aspects. Okay. Next one we can moving in the harmful aspects. Harmful aspects means so some type of this bacteria already you know that harmful means so they can initiate or they can inducing it and they can causing in some of the diseases, isn't it? Either that's the plants or animals and how human beings, isn't it? So that is the harmful aspects of bacteria. So that means in your syllabus they are giving in a three type of the diseases caused by this bacteria. One is plant diseases caused by bacteria and another one is animal and human diseases caused by bacteria. Okay. And let us learn that one by one. Okay. First one. Here this is the plant diseases means first they are giving in a host of this plants. Okay. Host means which type of this plant they comes to that diseases and the next one is they are giving in a name of the diseases and the last one which pathogen means which bacteria they initiate the diseases that's we are called as the name is known as name of the pathogen these three columns wise they are giving in the that is a bacterial diseases that is caused by that cell plant cell clear the first one what are the diseases given in your syllabus means? First one, the rice plants means, so they come in that is the bacterial flight disease. Bacterial blight means, here, first one, discoloration of this plant dishes. So, this suppose that is the uh, discoloration of this plant dishes. And finally, this is the diseases comes to that is the rice species, they lead to death. Okay, finally that's the plant so they need to death. Next one, so that is an apple. Apple, that's a plant, they comes to that is one of the disease name is known as fire blight. Okay, fire blight means first one the leaves are getting in there. How the leaves are identifying this is a symptoms means first the leaves are they get it in a golden color. Okay, then finally. After this is the maturation of this golden color, so that can they they can be lost. Okay, that's the disease's name is called fire blight. Then carrot, that's a soft root disease. Soft root disease means that's a tap root system of this carrot that is decaying. Okay, that's the symptoms for that soft root. Clear? Next one, citrus hanger. Citrus hanger means so there is a roughish part, that's a necrotic lesions are appearing in a fruit region, either that's a stem region, leaf region, that's a symptom is appearing in there is a citrus hanger. Okay. Next one, there is a potato. The potato, so there comes to that is a two diseases, one is ring rot and another one is scab diseases. Okay. So if you are looking, this is the diseases means. This diseases, 
so they presents in a the outer surface region very very rough in nature okay very very roughish that's the uh, appear for presence in that is the product of species understood ma say some so these sold the name of the diseases and then which host plant they comes to that the particular diseases that things only they are given this one okay then this is the host organism this is the type of the diseases they causing that is a which pathogen that bacterial species names also they are given first one that's a rice the host plants they comes to that's a diseases of bacterial fly that's the name of the pathogen is sandomonas varicella next one the apple species they cause they comes to that is one of the diseases is fire fly that's the name is known as ervinia amylovara ervinia amylovara carrot there is a, one of the causing of this diseases of soft rot ervinia caratovara ervinia caratovara then citrus hanger sandomona citri that's a species name is sandomona citri and then potato the ring rot and the scab diseases so they are present in a streptomyces scabies so these are the bacterial species they cause it in a certain diseases in that plant side clear next one we are moving that is the some of the diseases they caused by that the animals okay the animals means the host organisms cattle cattle species so that the sheep goat so these all the things are they come so that in a that's the cattle field okay the first one they are mentioning in a some of the diseases names they affected they infected that's the plants sorry the animal side anthrax brucellosis and bovine tuberculosis and black plague okay so these all the diseases they comes to affecting in a cattle field then particularly anthrax means only they comes to the animal of sheep okay so here the how will you know that is identifying this is the diseases means the symptom is the blood is which out is from that is a natural openings okay so that diseases is called that diseases we can identify that's the symptoms of anthrax next one that's a sheep and goat there is a brucellosis brucellosis means they get it in that is a symptoms of a severe uh, muscle pain and also there is a sweating so these are the symptoms they appear for this disease next one bovine tuberculosis i mean so this one has they very much affected the regions of lungs okay so that's a cattle feed that's a lungs region they affecting all this disease okay so they hear also which pathogen causing of this diseases is coming they are giving this one then bacillus anthrax so that's a disease is caused in the anthrax brucella abortus so that is the disease name is brucellosis then mycobacterium bovis that is affected in the zone of the disease name is bovine tuberculosis and clostridium so that is the cause that's the disease is black plague clear ma then finally we are going to learn about this is the human diseases that is caused by bacteria can you able to see this is the some of the human diseases caused by bacteria tell me children very good cholera typhoid pneumonia plague very good then food poison isn't it ah very good food poison tuberculosis leprosy ah good very good then syphilis syphilis means that's a one of the uh, sexually transmitted diseases still right uh, that also okay so these all the diseases are they caused by that sir uh, the bacteria caused by human okay so here that's a cholera means so there is the causing that's the name of the pathogen is the vibrio cholerae okay then typhoid means so that is causing of this bacterium is the salmonella typhi the next one tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis leprosy mycobacterium leprae the next one there is a diphtheria quiridinium diphtheriae and then food poison so there is a clostridium butylicum syphilis 
Tacoma Valladia. Okay, so these are the some of this pathogen, the causing of this certain diseases in that human beings. Clear ma? So here sometimes they will ask that's a two or three more question. Simply only, very easy manner only they will frame the question. Uh, mention some of the diseases names caused by bacteria in plants. Okay, then mention some of the diseases caused by bacteria in human beings. That like only they will frame the questions. Okay. Anyway, first part that's the beneficial aspects. You must prepare that's a three five mark questions based. Okay, children. So should prepare thoroughly, children. Thank you, students. Thank you very much.